This video covers the basic installation steps for Fisher & Paykel 72-inch ActiveSmart integrated refrigerators. Please refer to installation manuals 843-157A and 846-488A for complete instructions. Be sure to observe all of the safety information contained in the install manual, especially the tipping hazards as this unit is very top heavy. Measure the cavity opening for required dimensions before beginning this installation. Also ensure all installation kit components are present before beginning. After unpacking the refrigerator, carefully slide it back into the cavity so that the front of the refrigerator is flush with the front of the cabinetry. Observe where the refrigerator is not flush and make adjustments using a 7 16 hex socket at the rollers on each side. Once the product is leveled and flush with the cabinetry, carefully pull it out again. Measure from the floor to the top of the refrigerator in the back. Add half an inch to this measurement and mark the center of the rear wall. This will be the height of the anti-tip bracket. It may be necessary to build the wall out with wood as the bracket must overhang the refrigerator by 2 and 3 8 inches. Adequately fasten the bracket to the wall as seen here. Unpack the stainless steel panels and ensure that all components are present and undamaged. Peel back the protective film and remove the shipping tape from the edges of the doors. Place the top bracket into position, aligning it with the preformed screw holes. Fasten with the supplied screws. Place the side brackets and straps into position and fasten. Be sure the bracket can move back and forth slightly as seen here. Remove the shipping tape covering the door handle screw holes. Using a Phillips screwdriver, carefully push the plastic pins out of the holes. Peel back just enough of the protective film to reveal the screw holes. Attach the handle using the supplied screws. Apply the cord clip to the back of the refrigerator at the bottom right corner of the access panel as seen here. Untape the power cord, plug it into the outlet, and clip the cord into the cord clip. Feed the quarter inch water line tube through the hole on the bottom left hand corner and push it through to the front. Unclip the pressure reducing valve from its housing and insert the quarter inch tubing. Insert the supplied locking collet and seat the valve back into its housing. Carefully push the refrigerator back into position. Make sure the top trim is just below the cavity opening, adjust if necessary. Each door requires two mounting studs. Screw the studs all the way down with the open end on top. There are two side screw locations on the freezer panel and four on both French door panels. Insert the supplied side screws, but don't screw them in all the way. Push the refrigerator back into the cavity so that the front panels sit about three quarters of an inch back from the front of the side cabinetry. This measurement should be the same at all points. Adjust the refrigerator if necessary. 
Once the refrigerator is adjusted, open the refrigerator and remove the right hinge end cap. Fasten the refrigerator through the trim piece with a wood screw. Replace the hinge end cap. Remove the left hinge end cap and repeat these steps on the left side. Screw the bottom feet down to stabilize the bottom of the refrigerator. To prepare the side trim, have it in this position. Break off the datum lip from the plastic bracket and clip them into the side trim, as seen here. Slide the side trim spring into position between the bracket and trim until it clicks into place. Repeat these steps for the other two locations. Slide the trim in between the cabinet and the refrigerator until it sets against the front of the refrigerator. Open the freezer drawer and hang the stainless steel panel on the mounting studs. Open the French doors and hang both stainless steel panels on their mounting studs. For water dispensing models, it will be necessary to feed the water line into the back of the door. Feed the tube in until the line on the tube is reached, as seen here. The display is shipped inside the refrigerator door. Remove it from the package along with the display harness. Peel back the protective film and feed the display harness through the front of the door up to the rubber grommet. Plug the harness into the refrigerator door. Connect the display to the harness plug and clip the display into the door, clipping the top end first and then pushing up on the two tabs while moving the display into position. Place a washer and half inch nut on both freezer panel mounting studs and the top of the French door panels. Make panel adjustments to ensure flushness with the cabinets and that the gaps between the doors are uniform. Once adjusted, tighten the side screws. Examine each gap for uniformity. Once each panel is adjusted, tighten the screws and nuts to secure the position. Place a wood screw in the bottom and top of each French door panel to ensure it doesn't move afterwards. If a panel needs to be raised or lowered on one side, loosen the half inch nut and use a supplied Allen wrench to raise and lower the panel.
Then tighten the half inch nut again. Apply the Velcro tape squares evenly along the bottom of the freezer drawer top trim piece. Center the drawer top trim piece on top of the freezer drawer and press it into place. Press the door side trim pieces into position. Place the top covers into position and press down. Apply the side covers to the outer screw positions by opening the doors. Press the two side trim pieces into position on the freezer drawer. Remove all remaining protective film. Remove the filter cap and install it using the supplied plastic cartridge tool. Place the kick strip grill into position and press it into place. You have now successfully installed the 72-inch ASI refrigerator.